हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू वीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज ऑफ कंप्यूटर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एंड आर्किटेक्चर टुडेज टॉपिक इज कैश मेमोरी इन दिस वीडियो आई विल बी टेलिंग यू व्हाट इज कैश मेमोरी व्हाई इट इज रिक्वायर्ड एंड सम ऑफ द परफॉर्मेंस पैरामीटर्स ऑफ रिलेटेड टू द कैश मेमोरी लेट अस बिगिन फर्स्ट लेट अस टॉक अबाउट द कैश मेमोरी so you must be aware about this particular term cache memory this is a very special kind of memory which is a very high speed memory right and cache memory its cost is higher than the main memory or the disk memory you can say but it is always economical in comparison to the cpu register right so cache memory what you can say and what you need to remember that it is Uh, an extremely fast memory and this is actually a memory which acts as an buffer in between the ram and the cpu so this is acts as a buffer so why it is being required means what is the function of this cache memory what happens whenever you are executing some program so in that particular program some of the data or the instructions may be required frequently means those particular data and instructions may be required number of times so those instructions and data can be stored in a memory which is available immediately to the cpu whenever there is a requirement so that can be stored in the cache memory so cache memory stores the frequently uh, requested data that is what the cache memory is so if we you would like to understand the main memory and the cache memory so you can compare the main memory it is larger in size while the size of cache memory is smaller main memory is slower but cache is faster right what happened the data which is frequently used that can be copied from the main memory to the cache you can say in this particular case here you can see there are 16 words in the memory but cache holds four words means four frequently used words have been copied into the cache so they will be immediately available to the cpu right that is what the cache memory is now let us talk why cache is needed as i have told you that in the case of the cache memory frequently you uh, use data or frequently required data can be copied what happened uh, if you observe the speed of the main memory and the cpu there is a huge mismatch means the main memory is very slow in comparison to the cpu it means to balance the speed mismatch between the main memory and the cpu cache memory is required what happened the clock of the processor that is very fast that executes or that demands the data very fast while to access the main memory that requires larger time that is what there is a mismatch it means processing speed what it demands it demands that the main memory must be accessed at a higher rate that is why there is a concept of the cache memory which is being introduced it means cache memory is used to speed up and synchronizing with high speed cpu right and cache memory is used to reduce the average time to access data from the main memory that is what so as you can see and as i have already told you that cache memory it acts as an buffer between the ram and the cpu so here you can see what happened the frequently used data is being copied into the cache and cache works in collaboration with the cpu secondary memory which is the like auxiliary memory which stores secondary memory means external memory uh, which is not uh, the main memory means which stores the data for a long term usage for the permanently usage so cpu works in collaboration with the cache memory what happened first whatever the data or the instruction that is being requested that is being accessed into the cache if that data is being find or uh, available in the cache that is known as a hit sometimes it may happen the required data or instruction is not available in the cache that the condition is known as a 
miss and in that case that particular data needs to be read from the main memory that would be copied again into the cache and then it will be into a working condition so as you can see over here the data is being provided from cache to the cpu means cpu takes the data means uh, instructions or data from the cache and cache copied the data from the main memory so here you can observe there are different levels level 1 is being mentioned to the cpu level 2 is for cache level 3 is for main memory and you can say level 4 is for the secondary memory so level 1 means registers as you can see over here it means store data which is means immediately stored in the cpu that is available over here and most commonly used registers you can name as accumulator program counter address registers like level 2 is what cache memory means this is the fastest memory it has faster access time and here data is stored temporarily Temporarily data is being copied from the main memory just for the faster access. Then the level 3 which is for the main memory means this is the memory means you can say the computer memory which works currently and this memory means once the power is off. So whatever the data is being stored in this main memory that data will be erased. That data will not be available for the longer duration. And if you observe level 4, level 4 means the secondary memory, means the external memory. This is not um, that fast as the main memory. But here's in the case of secondary memory, data is stored permanently. Right. So that is why you can observe all these four levels in the case of this particular diagram as I have told you. Coming to the next let us talk about the cache memory performance issues. As I have told you that when CPU demands any data or instruction, then first it is to be examined from the cache. If that word is found in the cache, that is known as a cache hit. It means performance of cache memory that can be measured in terms of the hit ratio means data is available over there that is the hit and hit ratio gives us about the cache memory performance. So when we are uh, like reading the data or instructions from the cache that duration the time required to access the data from that particular cache that is known as cache hit time. Now you must be remember how to calculate the hit ratio. Hit ratio that is denoted by small h. It is what? This is equal to hits upon hit plus miss. Means total number of hits upon total excess. Suppose there have been means total 10 excess and out of 10 excess, 8 times data is being found in the cache. That means that is hit and 2 times data is not being found in the cache. That is the miss. Second is when we are saying that data is not being identified or found in the cache means that is the condition which is known as cache miss. Miss ratio that can also be calculated and H denotes the hit ratio. So miss ratio will be what? 1 minus H means the hit plus miss that's probability must be equal to 1. What happened when there is a cache miss? It means the required data or instruction that is not found in the cache means that particular data is to be read from the main memory, right? And that data which is we are reading from my main memory that is to be delivered to the CPU. And this total time required to fetch this data from the main memory to deliver to the CPU that is known as a cache miss penalty. So you must remember all of these terms. You may get the numericals also. So as you can calculate the hit ratio, you can also calculate the miss ratio. Miss ratio is denoted by 1 minus H. This is what? Cash miss upon total number of excesses. If as I've told you in the example, if the total number of excesses are 10, suppose out of 10, hits are 8 and miss are 2. So this is what? 2 upon 10. 10. That is what you can calculate the miss ratio. 
Now you must remember the cash performance means that is very very important right so cash performance how it can be improved so cash performance can be improved if you are using higher cash block size right block size of cash must be higher must be larger there must be some reduced miss rate if the miss rate will be high means definitely data is to be accessed from the main memory that will takes larger time means number of hits must be higher but number of misses must be reduced reduce miss penalty and reduce the time to hit in the cache so these are the various factors via which the performance of cache memory can be improved now one more important term which is the average memory access time you may get a numerical also so you must remember the formula average memory access time that is equal to what hit time plus miss rate into miss penalty you must remember these three terms right hit time how to write down this particular formula so average memory access time that is can be written as ta that can be denoted as ta that is equal to hit time hs hit ratio into tc tc is what cache memory access time plus miss rate means miss ratio 1 minus h into in the case of miss data is to be read from the main memory then it is copied to the cache and is being transferred is being provided to the cpu so it means 1 minus h into tc plus tm tc is cache memory access time and tm is main memory access time 1 minus h i, I have told you miss ratio h is the hit ratio right and ta is the average memory access time so this equation can be written as what here you can take 1 minus means tc you can take common so this is equal to what tc plus 1 minus h into tm so this is how it can also be written so you must remember this particular formula thank you so much for watching this video 